Good evening, Kyogis. Welcome to tonight's Yin Yoga practice. I will allow a little moment for people to arrive to the praxis. So if you're new to the praxis, you can prepare yourself a yoga mat and you can pad it with the blanket or else have a blanket handy because we will do dragons in today's uh, practice. So they are really nice postures for the hips and the quads and it's really nice to support the knee once you do it um, because we hold the postures for a little bit longer which is like two minutes to five minutes uh, some asanas so it is important so your body feels comfortable And also today's practice will be focused on the legs, hips and also lower back. So we will also work with the liver and spleen meridian. So the liver meridian goes inside your leg and the spleen meridian goes outside your leg to the side of your leg and it zigzags underneath your arm and goes all the way into your face but don't worry about this too much the whole idea is to start to prepare the body for the springtime on this side of the globe we're in Ireland so the springtime is coming and springtime is a very good time to cleanse the liver and to allow ourselves to let go of uh, toxins which we accumulated perhaps uh, during the winter months but we'll do it very very gently and we allow the body to do the necessary work by itself prepare also a bolster if you can and um, and yoga blocks because it's really good if you can support yourself as much as you can lovely so we'll start sitting. We will start sitting and we will start in our first in our first pose for tonight, which will be a dragonfly or a straddle as we call it in the in the Hatha Yoga. So opening the legs wide and this is already you might start feeling on the inside of your legs sensations. So in the yin yoga what's important is we allow the body to feel sensations yet we do not want to cross over our limits or go anywhere close to painful sensations in the body. And also if you know that some area of your body is sensitive or delicate, please be very mindful, um, especially once you're going into the movement for the first time. Lovely, so opening your legs here gently and what we'll do, we'll bring the upper body down. So keeping the spine nice and long in here and you can rest inside on your hands or else on your forearms or perhaps if your torso goes all the way down onto the floor you can rest your torso on the floor for me the opening on the inside of the legs happens slowly and gently And there is a lot of sensations already. So this is the moment when I pause. And comfortably stay here. We'll stay here for three minutes. So somewhere in between the short and the long stay.
so arriving into the place where you can play your edge so this is what we call experiencing the sensations yet knowing that those sensations are they can be achy at times because we are going deep into the tissues so we're going into the muscles into the tendons and time and bone skeletal also so achiness will happen but sharp sensations of pain is an indication that the body is protecting itself from an injury so you have to move out from the asana straight away So breathing in and out through the nose. And really allowing yourself to soften. And just go deeper into your sensations, into the experience. And just taking three more breaths in here, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. and come out of the asana just for a moment bring your legs uh, flat on the floor your feet flat on the floor and rest your knees in the center nice mm -hmm. and we'll open the legs one more time into the dragonfly And here we will change into one leg at the time. So we'll fold onto your left leg in here and gently folding right from your waist. And here working on one leg at the time. And you'll feel the sensations in your lower back. You'll feel the sensations at the back of the leg and inside the leg. So inner thigh, inner calf. And see if the knee is lifting. If the knee is lifting, that is an indication that there is a lot of pressure on the leg. So perhaps you can go a little bit back with your torso. See if that feels good. And breathing here. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. Lovely, so each leg will do two minutes at a time.
And so inhale and exhale through the back of your body. And slowly coming back up, all the way up. Nice. And here you can massage your knees around. So very gentle massage of your legs, moving the lymph, moving the blood, moving the fluids in your body. Lovely. And now we'll do two minutes on the other leg. So lengthen through your torso and slowly start to bring your torso down onto the leg. So you're thinking here that your belly button and your belly wants to lie on your thigh and the head will go perhaps towards the knee or somewhere close to the knee. Yet this is not the main our main focus so the focus is just to open the back of the leg feel the sensation on the inside of the of the leg as well and in the lower back so be very mindful of what you're experiencing at this moment it is quite a strong quite a powerful pose and perhaps if your body allows you to go a little bit deeper you can deepen into the asana you can deepen into the sensations so breathing in and out through the nose Playing the edge in your body, so playing around your sensations, so finding the point of stillness. And taking class breath in here. And now very slowly coming back up, all the way back up. Really good. And this is the moment you feel a little bit of achiness, a little bit, oh, something is moving in the body. So this is all good. Nice. And so now we'll go into a back bend. We'll go into a supported back bend. So you can either use the bolster for it or you can use your block. So it is your choice. And you'll put the bolster, so the outer edge of the bolster, which will be the top one, you will put it right underneath your shoulder blades. And then your thoracic spine will be completely supported. <clears throat> so lie down on the bolster. Really nice. And here you have an option. So you can either bring your knees to the center. So we will stay here for five minutes. So a nice long back bend. So make yourself comfortable and arrive into your edge. So yes, you can move from the, from the shape, from the asana. Yet if you can remain still, so finding the place where you can remain still for an extended period of time, it will be very, very beneficial for you.
and observing what is showing up. bringing the breath into your heart, breathing in and out through your heart, through your lungs. Connecting with the intention for your practice Connecting with the sensations in the body. And if you would like to lengthen your legs all the way down, you are welcome to. You can also bring your feet together into a butterfly pose. And butterfly feet. So really letting go and letting go of control and really allowing yourself to be held. So you're being supported into this back bend. Breathing in and out through all the sensations, just noticing them, not judging them, and they can be of a physical nature, perhaps some thoughts are coming or some emotions are arising, so just observing what is showing up. How is the quality of your breath? Does it flow freely through the body? The inhale and the exhale? Is it natural? Or is there a little contraction or constraint in parts of your body? So just have a look at it. Observe it. Breathing in and out through the nose. Lovely, I'm taking last breath in here. Five minutes have passed. And now gently lift your hips up, remove the bolster from underneath your back, bring it to the side. Nice. And just for a moment, bring your knees towards your chest. 
and bring your head towards your knees. Relax your head down and then move to your right side. Stay here for a moment. Just wait for the blood pressure to come back. Lovely. And now coming back up again. And we'll go into a child's pose and also you can go into a supported child's pose so you can use the bolster if you like. You can bring it um, between your knees and we will stay here for another five minutes. So nice to see long uh, supported child's pose so a very restorative pose for now but also working into the inner groin in the hips so if you can bring your body forward and keep your hips nice and open and relax your relax your hips towards your heels please do if this is uncomfortable you can stay up on your hands, you can stay somewhere here as well. So we'll do two and a half minutes on one side and then two and a half minutes on the other side with your head turning the other way. So really settling into this shape, into this position. And settling into the breath. Feeling what is happening in the legs, what is happening in the hips and in the lower back. Lovely. And now you can turn your head to the other side. Two and a half minutes on the other side. Observing here the quality of your breath. Coming back to this natural 
natural breath, internal breath. There's no need to breathe in any particular way. So this is a nice difference between the Hatha Yoga or Flow Yoga Vinyasa and the Yin Yoga, that the breath is completely natural. And there's a lot of time and a lot of space for it. Your breathing to be as it is. And you can direct the breath into the places where you feel sensations, but even if you don't, the breath naturally will travel there. Taking one last breath and feel into the sensations you are feeling. Very good. And push yourself up, all the way up. So sit on your heels, relax your hands on your thighs, lengthen, and breathe in and out through the nose. Now we'll go into our dragons on the left side and on the right side. So this is where you will need your blanket or a little padding under the knee. So you're going to bring the right leg to the front and you will bring the left leg back and look here if your ankle is aligned with the knee and the knee is aligned with the hip. So here you can support yourself with the blocks if you like. So I'll show you how to do it. So if you have two blocks, you can use them. So if that is a lot of sensations in the hip, then you can use the blocks in here say on the second height, or you can also use them on the first height. So this is a nice tall dragon. So see what feels comfortable in here and how are you receiving and feeling the sensations. You can also rest your hands directly onto the, onto the mat and this way the sensations will be much stronger. So here we'll stay two minutes on in this posture. So there is some time already. So we have a minute and a half. <laughs> and try to see if the four corners of your foot are on the floor. And we're opening here the left quads. We're also working into the glutes. If you would like to intensify the sensations, what you can do, you can bring your forearms either onto the blocks or onto the floor. So this way, certainly, there will be a lot more sensations. So finding your edge, place where you can stay for an extended period of time. So you may feel a lot of heat in your legs. Heat is welcome. Certainly not for a reason, it's called a dragon. So it does, it does create a lot of heat into the body and it is challenging for some people. But it's really good to open the legs and to work into the areas of the legs which are not so often 
Mjøst. Lovely, so taking class breath in here. Nice. So now we'll bring the right foot onto the outer edge of the foot. So this way the knee is going into the side. So this is a high flying dragon and this way we access different area in the hip again so still working into the quad so we'll stay here for another two minutes and working yourselves quite profoundly today <laughs> tonight And here you can also just bring your hand into the right hip groin and you can see how is how all the sensations are coming in here and where do you feel it exactly? I know there are those asanas in the in yoga that sometimes you feel like you want to stay there for a really long time and other times you're just asking yourself when is it gonna finish? <laughs> so everyone has its own place like that. And this is when we can and just observe those thoughts and that smile <laughs> to them. Beautiful. And now gently inhaling and exhaling to palm all the way back and going here onto the heel, to the front. And at the back, you can go into the toe. So this way. You're working the back of the leg and also working your toes. So nice counter stretch for the dragons. Really, really good. And breathing in and out through the nose. Beautiful. And now just for a moment, go on to your knees and just sit on your heels, lengthen your spine and notice the right and the left side of the body. Just notice how are they feeling? How different do they feel? Beautiful. And so now we'll go into the dragons on the other side. So bringing the left leg in front and lengthening the right leg back. Nice wide stretch in here. So I'm going to use the blocks again, but you can use the support of books or the support of the bolster as well, or else just do it right on the floor. So look over your right shoulder and see if the ankle is aligned with the knee and the knee is aligned with the hip. And here you really want to work into the right quads, quads and left hip groin. Just opening the legs. And breathing in and out through the nose. So we're well into the two minute threshold.
two minutes holding already. I'd be happy to hear. <laughs> Where do you feel the sensations and what are the qualities of sensations you are feeling? So a little bit of heat absolutely is welcome. Yet if the sensations are too strong or painful or very sharp, then move out of the asana. Nice. And now bring the leg on the the foot on the outer edge so this way your knee is going out so this is a high flying dragon and you can rest your hand either in the hip groin in here or you can also rest it in front on the block or right on the mat Two minutes here. Breathing in and out through the nose. Lovely. I'm taking class breath in here. Nice. And moving onto the front heel and sitting on your back. Heel, stretching your toes in here. Both toes. So the toes of the front leg towards the ceiling and sitting on the back toes in here so it's a nice toe stretch as well. Excellent. And now bringing both legs together, relaxing your hands on your thighs, breathing, in through your nose and out through your nose. Nice. And so we make our way down onto the floor. And here you can use the block. We will do a nice sacrum reset. So you can lift your hips, bring your block on your lower back and lay your lower back onto the block and bring your legs up towards the ceiling. See what is happening in the hips in here. Rest your hands on your tummy. You won't stay here for too long. Just a little moment to reset the energies in the body. Nice, so bringing your knees towards your chest gently. So your hips, your legs received a lot of 
nice work today. Remove the plug and just for a moment here open the arms down your sides, lift your pelvis to the left and bring your knees to the right. And your head can go opposite direction to your hips. So nice twist in the spine. Nice. And come back with your knees to the center, realign your spine. And now bring your hips to the left. It's a nice easy twist. And bring your head to the right, opposite direction to your hips. Nice. And come back to the center one more time. Bring your knees close to your chest. Bring your head towards your knees. Lovely. And now lengthen your whole body. Lengthen your legs. Open your arms down your sides. Into Shavasana, your resting pose. Now very gently bringing all the benefits together. So the benefits from the practice, the benefits from the meditation, from your Shavasana. Allowing all those positive changes you just created in your body to support you physically, mentally, emotionally, and energetically. You can start to wiggle your toes and your fingers and find a way to turn to your right side. And give yourself a nice hug. Hello. 
softly. And find your way to come back to sit on your mat, cross-legged, bringing the palms of your hands into your heart. And bringing the chin towards the chest and bowing gently towards yourself first for showing up, for allowing yourself to practice yoga and to each other for practicing in community. Thank you so much, yogis. Namaste. <laughs> tonight lovely thank you so much i hope you enjoyed the practice and i'm really looking forward to see you again <laughs> good night bye bye